family about your day. If you're into fun and you love to play. If you like funny jokes, it puts you away. If you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around. And if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool. Oh, little buddy, you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be. Hey, it's Lamb Chops. Play along with kids. Come to play along in fun things and all. Really squeeze with all your might. Now the other arm. Let me see just how strong you've grown to be. Make two muscles left and right. Come on and pump it up. Out of sight. Hey, you're getting strong. Now let's go back to the song. Lamb chops, play along with kids. Come to play along and fun things are all we ever do. Yeah, it's lamb chops, play along. Join the kids and play along. We got Yeah, and especially you. With these two strings, one string, two strings, I am going to show you a magic trick. Amanda, you hold this string. Sabrina, you hold this string. Hold your hands up. Hold on, don't let go. Hold them up high. Okay, I'm going to hold both ends in my hand. And Sabrina, when I say three, you pull on your end. And Amanda, you pull on your end, okay? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, pull! And the two strings have joined into one string. Ta-da! It's magic. Well, it's magic unless you know how. And then it's just plain fun. You want to learn how? All right, come close, girls, and I'll show you. Many strings um, can be separated if you just pull the strands apart. And then you hold it and you twist the strands into kind of horns see now there's the string with horns and if you pinch right at the point of those horns it looks like you've got one string two strings doesn't it yeah now you hold one end and you hold the other end and i'm grabbing this part in the center but when i said sabrina pull amanda pull i had already done the trick and pulled it and so then i said one two three pull and the string is joined like that. And if you watch us every day, you'll be Can able to string along with us. You want to try it? Sure, go ahead. tongue twister? Yeah, what tongue twister? A noise, a noise, an oyster. So you were making that noise to annoy this oyster? Yeah. Sweetheart, you're supposed to do it three times fast. Ah, ah, ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> you're supposed to say it three times fast. Say what? Say, a noise, a noise, an oyster. A noise, a noise, an oyster. A noise, a noise, an oyster. Can you do it? I could do it. Yeah, but I want to know if they can do a noise, a noise, an oyster. Try it. I want to do it. Go ahead. A noise, a noise, an oyster. A noise, a noise, an oyster. A noise, a noise, an oyster. Oh, oh. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, I got such a tummy ache. Ooh, why do you have a tummy ache? I had it ever since I ate that other oyster yesterday. Ooh. Was it fresh? I don't know. Well, how did it look when you opened the shell? You're supposed to open the shell? Oh. Now I lay me down to rest. I pray I pass tomorrow's test. If I should die before I wake, 
That's one less test I'll have to take. <laughs> Mearsy doats and dozy doats and little lambsy divey, a kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? Mearsy doats and dozy doats and little lambsy divey, a kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? What was that? What was what? Mearsy doats and dems and does and dees and does and the stuff you were singing. <laughs> it's a song. That's a song? Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? That is so dumb. That's not dumb. That is a song that your parents and your grandparents sang 50 years ago. Not mine. Why not? Mine sang Papa Black Sheep. Oh, well, a lot of people remember that song. It is so dumb. It's not dumb. Dumb. It's just a silly song. You're telling me. Oh, come on. I like rap. But lots of the songs have nonsense words and sounds in them, while this song makes a lot of sense. Oh, come on. No. Really? Okay, okay. What do you call a lady horse? Mrs. Horsey. <laughs> no, 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 no. A lady horse is a mare. I thought a mayor was a person who ran a city. That's a mayor. What's the difference? This is a mayor. Oh, a lady horse is a mare? That's right. What do you call a lady deer? Bambi. No, Bambi is a baby deer. A lady deer is a doe. A doe. Right. And what do you call a baby goat? No, don't kid me. I'm not going to get it. That's it. That's what? A baby goat is a kid. <laughs> I knew that. Sure you did. Sure. So if you take a horse a goat and a deer, and you put them together, what have you got? A zoo. No, a song. Oh, that song. Right. Mearsy doats and dozy doats and little lambsy divey, a kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? Mearsy doats and dozy doats and little lambsy divey, a kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? That's it. That's weird. If the words sound queer and funny to your ear, a little bit jumbled and jivey, say mares eat oats and does eat oats and little lambs eat ivy. Wait one big second, stop the music. You, this, this is a song about lambs. This is a song about me. It's a, I'm a little lamb, and it's a song about a beautiful little lamb, and it's my song. Why didn't you say, stop, 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 stop. This is not a song about a lamb. This is certainly not a song about you. No. They, they just mention a lamb in the song. They say little lambs eat ivy. I don't eat ivy. Well, ivy is a plant. So there may be some lambs that eat ivy, don't you think? Uh-uh. Well, at any rate, now you know the song. I do. Uh-huh. And... So do you. And you want to sing it with me? J just repeat after me. I'll, I'll review it with you. Say, mares. Mares. Eat oats. Eat oats. And does. Does eat oats. Eat oats. And little lambs eat ivy. Yuck. A kid'll eat ivy, too. A kid'll eat ivy, too. Wouldn't you? No, but I'll sing it if you'll teach it to me a little bit at a time. Okay. Mersey doats and dozy doats. Mersey doats and dozy doats. And little lambs eat ivy. And little lambs eat ivy. A kiddle eat ivy too. A kiddle eat ivy too. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Now put it together. Mersey doats and dozy doats. And little lambs eat ivy. A kiddle eat ivy too. Wouldn't you? Oh, so that's what you used to sing in the olden days, huh? The olden days? Yeah. Oh, well, Sally, I think I'll stick to rap music. I can dance to the beat with my hands and feet, jump in the air or sit in the chair. I can do it alone or on the phone. Go tippity-tap and it comes out rap. Can you dig it? I dig it. Outstanding. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a big... Did you hear something? No. Okay. Once upon a time... Th Take a sniff. Come on, sniff. 
You smell anything? No, I do. You know what that is? Oh, I do. That, that's my favorite perfume. That was my favorite perfume. Lamp chop. What is it? What are you doing? Nothing. And what are you doing nothing with? Your perfume. I hope you'll excuse me. Oh. 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 Okay, where is it? Where is what? Where is my perfume bottle? Look, it isn't on the vanity. I, 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 uh, um, uh, what does it look like? My perfume bottle? By now, I imagine it looks like a lot of broken glass. I don't see any broken glass on the vanity table. Yeah, well, what do you think I ought to do? Maybe you ought to look someplace else. Good, come on. You come? No, no, I don't want to... <clears throat> what do you think that was? You stepped on something. Yes. What do you think I stepped on? My turtle. Your turtle never smelled that good. Oh, it's my perfume bottle. Mm -hmm. How do you like that? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You took something that belonged to me. I know that. And you broke it. I know that. And you're going to be punished. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm very angry with you. Uh, could we please discuss this later? No, we're going to discuss it right now. Sally, not in front of all these people. Well, you should have thought of that earlier. You're embarrassing me. Well, I'm sorry, but I... you will be. What? You will be. I will be what? Sorry. How will I be sorry? Stick around and find out. It's betcha time, it's betcha time, and though I've never met ya, I know something you can't do. I betcha, betcha, betcha. I'll teach you how to do what I propose. Ready? Set. Here goes. I like tricks with sticks, and when you do this stunt, you can use any kind of sticks. You can use twigs, or pencils, or straws, or toothpicks. I'm going to use cotton swab sticks, because you can see them really clearly. Now, as you know, a triangle has three sides. One, two, three. It takes three sticks to make a triangle. So, the betcha is, I betcha, that I can change this triangle into two triangles, Adding only two more sticks. Do you know how to do it? No? Watch. I bet you I can do it. I add one stick. I add two sticks. And now we have two triangles using only five instead of six sticks. Because the bottom line of both triangles is one stick. Pretty tricky, huh? You'll get a lot of laughter, I've no doubt. I bet you if you Have you seen Lamb Chop? Uh-huh. Oh, thank goodness. She's supposed to be singing a duet with me. Oh. Uh, where did she go? When? When you saw her. Why should she go any place when I saw her? She sees me all the time. Where did you see her? When? When you saw her before. Before when? Before now. I didn't see her now. Honey, she's missing. What's she missing? She's missing herself. How can she be missing herself? Where could she go that she couldn't find herself? Charlie Horse, you're here, right? Right. And I'm here, right? Right. Where's Lamb Chop? I don't know. That's all I wanted to know. I didn't tell you anything. I know. And you took your time doing it. <laughs> Give me a knock-knock joke. Don't knock a knock-knock joke. They're always dumb. So tell me how come. After one laugh. Up. After four, I always double up. Don't be an old slowpoke. Give me a knock-knock joke, please. Knock-knock. Who's there? Fanny. Fanny who? If anybody calls, I'm out. Look. That was a knock-knock joke. I love a knock-knock joke. They can be awful. It's true. Still, I'm telling you, I love a knock-knock joke. Imagine her embarrassing me like that. Oh, Lamb Chop, Lamb Chop, what are you doing here in your room? You know, you're supposed to be singing a duet with me. Well, I'm not. Yes, I can tell. I'm never going to sing a duet with you again from now on. You sing your duets alone. 
Why? Because I am furious with you. Darling, what are you doing? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're wrinkling all your clothes. Well, I don't care. And anyway, I'm not talking to you. Oh. Well, if you were talking to me... Yes. What would you say? I'd say I'm running away. What? I said I'm running away. What did you say? She said she is running away. Isn't this so terrific? <laughs> Excuse me, Sherry. What do you want, Hush Puppy? Lamb Choppy wants something. Well, if Lamb Choppy wants something, why doesn't she come and ask for it? She ain't talking to you. Well, how do you know she wants something? She's talking to me. And I'm talking to you. What does she want? She wants one of them maps that you're playing with. Which one? It don't matter. Well, what does she want the map for? What does anybody want a map for? To find out where they're going, that's right. So where's she going? Away. Away? Yeah, and she's in a hurry because she's running there. She's running away. Well, I mean, I don't know what map to give her, Sherry. Just give her any old map and it'll make her happy. All right, here's a map. You give it to her. Thank you, Sherry. You're welcome. Okay, now this is a game that Brian and I were about to play. It's called the Map Tap Game. And what you do is you spread a map over two laps. I know you don't have two laps, but your friend or your brother or sister, you spread it over two laps, and then one person looks at the map and picks out a spot and says, I see a spot that starts with, a, for example, if they pick Canada, they'd say, I see a spot that starts with a C. And then the other person has to tap the map, and the first person says, colder, colder, hotter, hotter, until you guess which spot the first person thought of. Brian, have you picked a spot? Yeah. All right, tell me, what does it start with? It starts with an M. An M. Okay, here I go. Cold, cold, cold. Mexico. Nope. You're in a freezer. Freezer. Uh, Montana. Getting warmer. warmer. Boiling, 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 boiling. Minnesota. Yep. Minnesota. And that's how you play. I hope I didn't give the people of Minnesota a headache tapping on them. And it's the first time I've ever been hot and boiling in Minnesota, especially in the winter. But that's the map tap game. Try it with a friend. Oh, there you are. Yeah? Come on over here. I'm here, but I'm not talking to you. Oh, you still mad at me? Yes, a lot. You still mad at me? No. No kidding. <laughs> I got over it. No kidding. Sure, I shouldn't have embarrassed you in front of everybody. No kidding. I'm really sorry I did a bad thing. Me too. What? I did a bad thing. I shouldn't have taken your perfume, but it always smells so nice when you wear it. Oh, I love it. And it looked so pretty in the bottle, so I took it, and I'm sorry. You know what I did? I bought you your own bottle of perfume. Oh, thank you. Why did you put it back there? I can't get my nose behind my ear. It's okay. I'll put it anywhere you wish. Where shall I put it? Between my buttons. Oh, thank you. Good. Now, are you still going to run away? I have to. Why? I'm all packed. Would you come here? What? Oh, I love you. And if you should run away, dear, as you sometimes said you would, how sad I'd be. And I'd have to let you go, but I think you ought to know precisely what you might expect from me. If you should run away, run away, run away, you know what I would do. I'll turn into something so that I can be with you. If you should fly away, I'll become the thing that rhymes with nerd. What do you think that is? B -b a bird? Right. A bird. If you should run away, run away, run away, I know what I would do. I'll 
turn into something so that I can be with you If you decide to drive, I'll become a thing that rhymes with star What do you think that is? A car! Right, a car If you should run away, run away, run away I know what I will do I'll turn into something so that I can be with you If you should go by railroad, I'll become a thing that rhymes with rain What do you think that is? Tra? Tra? A train! Right, a train! If you should run away, run away, run away I know what I will do I'll turn into something so that I can be with you If you should sail the ocean, I'll become a thing that rhymes with note What do you think that is? B? B? A boat! Right, a boat! If you should run away, run away, run away I know what I would do I'll turn into something so that I can be with you If you go rollerblading, I'll become a thing that rhymes with eight what do you think that is? Ska? Ska? A skate! Right, a skate! If you should run away, run away, run away I know what I would do I'll turn into something so that I can be with you If you should go by snow I'll become a thing that rhymes with red What do you think that is? Slow? Slow? A sled! Right, a sled If you should ever leave, I'll follow you. That's all that I can say. But I really hope you never, ever run away. If ever you're at What is the difference between a rhinoceros and a matter baby? What's a matter baby? Nothing. What's the matter with you? <laughs> I don't get it. This is a three-month-old goat from Crete. Crete is an island right off the coast of Greece. But we did not have to go to Greece to get this beautiful baby. Uh-uh. We got it from the San Diego Zoo. And we want to thank the San Diego Zoo for sharing their beautiful little baby goat with us. And we're going to tell you a story about a baby goat and a big goat and a biggest goat. It's three billy goats gruff. Come on, come on. It's for you. Okay, I want to tell my story. I want to tell my story to a human being person. You're a human being person. Will you join me and let me tell it to you? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell it to you, too. Um, but, you know, I can't always hear you when you make the sounds. And this is a story where you make the sounds. It's the story of the three billy goats gruff. Now, billy goats, do you know what billy goats do when they make a sound? Meh. You're right. They go, meh. Oh, it's very funny. So anytime I talk about the billy goats gruff, what are you going to do? Let me hear you do it. That's good. All right. Um, once upon a time, there were three Billy Goats Gruff. And one day, the three Billy Goats Gruff were so hungry. Oh, and they decided that they would go find something to graze on. Now, to graze, it means to eat the grass and to nibble on the flowers, you know, stuff like that. So they walked and walked until they came to a... Um, uh, a bridge, and right across the bridge was a meadow. Oh, the meadow was full of flowers and straw and tall grass. They were thrilled. And so the three Billy Goats Gruff nah. decided to cross the bridge and go into the meadow. Unfortunately, the bridge was guarded. Do you know the story? The bridge was guarded by a mean... Troll. Good, a troll. I didn't tell it to him. And this troll is so bad that whenever I mention the troll, I want you to go boo. What are you going to do? Boo! Okay. So the three Billy Goats Gruff... Nah! ...started to cross the bridge. And as soon as the littlest Billy Goat Gruff... Nah! ...got his feet on the bridge, the mean old troll... Boo! ...said, Who dares cross my bridge? It must be my supper! And the little teeny Billy Goat Gruff... 
Bah! Said, Oh, don't eat me. I'm scrawny and skinny. Why, I don't even make a snack, no less supper. He said, Why don't you wait for my medium sized Billy Goat Gruff? Bah! He's bigger and fatter. So the mean old troll. Boo! Did you remember? The mean old troll said, All right, you may cross. After you've eaten the flowers and the straw in the meadow, I'll get you on the way back. So the littlest Billy Goat Gruff crossed the bridge and went into the meadow, and along came the medium-sized Billy Goat Gruff. And as soon as he stepped on the bridge, the mean old troll said, Who dares cross my bridge? It must be my supper. And the medium-sized Billy Goat Gruff said, Oh, don't eat me. Wait for my big brother. He's very big and very fat. And so the mean old troll boo, said, You may cross. After you've eaten the flowers and the grass in the meadow, I'll get you on the way back. And along came the biggest brother, Billy Goat Gruff. Meh. And he started to walk on the bridge, and of course the mean old troll boo. God. The mean old troll said, Ho goes there. You must be my supper. But before the mean old troll Boo. could finish his sentence, the biggest Billy Goat Gruff nah. butted him with his horns, rammed him with his horns, kicked him with his hooves, and knocked that mean old troll Boo. right into the river. And he swam away in a hurry, and he was never heard from again. And the three Billy Goats Gruff Meh. had a very fine meal indeed. The end! The end! The end! The end! We did it! This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Oh, no. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. That's enough, guys. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. How do I turn you off? Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Okay, okay. I get the joke. You guys are going to keep that up and go far, far away. Go, go, go. No, no, no. Keep on going. Woo, woo. This is a song that... Holly, hold on. No, no, stop, stop, stop. stop. Charlie, stop. I want you to go away. Go away. And don't slam the... Door. <laughs>